A shocking turn. The suspect in the murder of a well-known Detroit synagogue pre president released from police custody. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Pamela Osborne. And I'm Will Jones. It's the latest development in the murder case of Samantha Wool, which has garnered national attention. Police say Wool was killed at her Detroit home on the night of October 21st after she returned from a wedding. Last week, we learned a man was arrested in Kalamazoo in connection to the murder, but today he was released with no charges filed against him. Jacqueline Francis joins us live from DPD headquarters. And Jacqueline, a lot of people wondering how this happened and, of course, what happens next? That's right. It feels a little like deja vu, a high profile murder case, a suspect arrested only to be released 72 hours later without charges. It happened in the case of Detroit neurosurgeon Devon Hoover, and it's happened again in this case with Samantha Wall. I think it raises concerns about this case and the way that it is being investigated, which I hope ends up being that I end up being wrong about and those concerns end up being assuaged when ultimately there is a prosecution in the case, but it's not a, it's not off to a particularly good start. This is legal expert Neil Rockind weighing in on the latest developments in the Sam Wall murder investigation. It comes after a murder suspect was taken into custody Wednesday. Detroit police said at the time there was still more investigating to do, but again, they had the suspect behind bars. Today, that suspect was released without charges, according to NBC News. Rockind says the suspect was likely arrested on probable cause instead of having the prosecutor sign off on a warrant for charges ahead of their arrest. It's doing things backwards. It's kind of putting the, the, the cart before the horse. And what happens is sometimes the police departments can get egg on their face. It's unclear if the police presented a warrant request to the prosecutor's office, but we do know the investigation is ongoing. Could this case be brought in the future? Yeah, the person could still be charged. There, this isn't double jeopardy, uh, jeopardy or, or prejudice is not a, a attached, um, uh, but the police have sort of tipped their hand in a way. Haven't they? They've sort of told this person and those around him that this is uh, this is who they're after. For the family of the deceased, that has to be very frustrating because you feel like the fish was on the hook and that someone is pulling this, you know, pulling the, the reeling it in and then then they're let off. Police continue to say this was not a hate crime. Aside from that, though, they're remaining tight-lipped on the ongoing investigation. Reporting live from Detroit Police Headquarters, Jacqueline Francis, Local 4. Thank you, Jacqueline. We'll have a full breakdown of the case and what we've learned so far on clickondetroit.com.